Well, it is Saturday, April the 30th. I am headed to Texas. This is about an 18 hour road trip that we're going on. Uh, we're actually going down to uh, hunt some axis, some all dad, uh, shoot some hogs, a little bit of everything, basically. Um, a lot of people don't know that axis in South Texas are actually outnumbering the whitetail now. So they're actually becoming a nuisance. Uh, we're going down to a large ranch that uh, operates on, I don't know, 20,000 acres, I think, all low fence. So we're gonna go down there, try to get us an ax, it's maybe an all dad. Uh, main thing is to show you our new Buck Bourbon Rack House ground blinds. I'm so excited that we're releasing these this year. I think you're gonna love them. I, I know you're gonna love them. So stay with us, long trip ahead of us. Uh, we'll. Uh, We'll be back in touch once we arrive. All right, well, we've arrived in Texas. We, uh, Wade's got us set up here. He put a buck bourbon blind up last week, put a bunch of barrel proof in his feeder. We've got all dads, we've got axis, we've got whitetail, we've got everything coming to it. So you can kind of see what we've got set up here. Hog panels got to come down, and then we've got our buck bourbon blind. This uh, rack house, 300 plus one-way mesh over there. Uh, we're going to fill the feeder up with some more barrel proof because they've absolutely annihilated it over the week. But for now, I better get off here and help Wade, or he's going to kill me. So <laughs> let's get these panels down. This is our first morning here in Texas, but uh, we've already had some action this morning. It's just been the wrong species of deer. Hopefully the axles will come out. Um, we've been getting pictures of them here between 7 and really 9.30 in the morning, so we still got another hour or two. This is just, this is a perfect setup. We're in this creek bottom. These, these axes move through here all day long. It's actually one of the cooler places in Texas where we're down in this, this like a bowl, I guess you would call it. So we're hoping to get it done here. There's lots here. Run them deer off. Look at those little bitty babies. <laughs> That's great. God. That just shows you how quick they can reproduce. What can you say? Look at all the babies. Well, we're wrapping up our first morning. 
morning's hunt here in Texas, we had an absolute blast this morning. We've been covered in animals from the time we got in the blind. We've seen whitetail. We've seen all dad. We've got tons of pigs in front of us right now. They know though. They know that I'm not gonna shoot a pig until I get a big axe on the ground, so. Cut that so it's got finger loops if you can just pack it like that. Oh, you want me to do the one ten? You can put that in my fingers if you want. I got plenty of fingers. It's not that heavy. Yeah. 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 Put them where you can see once you find, find you a spot where you're gonna see it. Sounds good. Good luck. We good should luck. hear. We should hear you shoot because we're not yeah, real far. Yeah, you will. All right. This is our second morning. We're uh, back at the spot where we hunted yesterday. We just dropped my cousin Jeff off up over the hill. He's gonna to try to shoot some hogs. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take one of these U out today, one of the all dad U, because there's just so many that's moved into this area. They're actually running the axis off, and this just happened within the last two weeks. So Wade said he wanted one one cold from the herd, so we're gonna to try to pick a sterile one, and you know maybe one not breeding, and go ahead and take her out. Something to dine today. Shot. 
Okay, there's that you that we were watching all morning. The one on the right. typically do and we thought she was dead right here she didn't wasn't moving hadn't moved in a couple minutes some of the other all dad come up and started headbutting her while she was on the ground got her up and I, we thought she died right in here we give her a good 30 45 minutes and when I stood up to come over here I could see her bedded down behind a tree she kind of run through this thick stuff so we're gonna give her probably another hour or two honestly come back and get her this afternoon before we go out for the afternoon's hunt. These animals are so strong. People don't understand how strong they are. I, I, I really think that was like a lower heart shot. So, may take her another hour to, to expire, we'll see. Not a lot of blood, honestly. We'll go back to camp, review the footage. I mean, you can see a little bit of blood. It looks like damn guts, though. It smells like guts. I thought she was dead right there. Didn't go 10 yards until the other all day come out and started ramming her. All right, right here. Yeah, when he turns, just yeah. The other one, I think that that's good. That's good. But watch, watch how she acts. Yeah, I mean she's dead. But we're gonna find her. I mean, nobody else in order. There's only out of the people that watch this. And you don't have to use this on TV. The majority of them won't even know that's where the vitals are. They'll think, "Oh, great shot." <laughs> well, I knew I was a little. I knew I was a little yeah. low, but I still see. Look, I mean, she goes down right there. Yeah. She start or she. I'd have gone down back here. That's about how weak I am. I'd have just fell over. <laughs> but look at the blood. Oh, yeah, nice. She's bleeding good. That's right behind that pocket. I mean, that's, yeah. you know. It's just the way it's going back this way into the body. See how she's doing her head? Yeah, I, she's dying, right? She, she, we're going to find her. Look, she started going down at her rear end. That's how elk do when you shoot them in the heart. That's the reason why I was like, I think I maybe clipped the bottom of her heart, but. Really? Yeah. Wow. So you do have to hit them in the shoulder. Yep. We'll find her. And if not, we'll shoot another one. <laughs> well, I just kind of here. I'll show you kind of what happened. So she, when she actually fell, she was right in. God, look at all that. All that blood. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, all the blood. That's where she fell. But then she got up and walked through here, and there's blood everywhere. 
and then she turned and went up in there. <laughs> I mean, I can carry my gun. Uh, I would, yeah, I would bring I it. I would definitely yeah. bring it. Okay, so we went back to camp, reviewed the footage over and over and over, and I've been playing it over and over in my head. Uh, I, I thought I smoked her. Um, Wade obviously knows a lot more about these all dad than I do. He said that the the way their vitals lay, they're higher and really far forward, like you actually have to shoot them in the shoulder. As a white to a hunter growing up, that's the worst thing you can do. So I'm just been you know taught my whole life to come up back that front of that back leg, come back and shoot them in that pocket, and that's that's kind of where I hit this one at. Thought I smoked her, but as it turns out, it's it's a marginal shot. It's a lethal shot. But uh, I think we just got her maybe in the guts, maybe maybe clip the heart. I don't know. There's enough blood that it makes me think maybe we got something else. So Wade's going to bring the gun just in case we have to finish her off. But fingers crossed she's dead 100 yards in the woods, and we'll be good. Once we jumped her, Wade, I'd, we come to right here just to make sure that was her that was bedded. We, did, we just didn't cross that log once I realized it was her. Here's blood over here, Wade. I think she's, there's a little trail that goes to the right here. Blood right there, blood right there, blood right there. She done. Crazy, that's all it was was guts. Straight guts. That's the reason why she wasn't dead. Yeah. You know, just, a, there's, the vitals on these things are different. Yeah. I mean, that's a perfect white tail shot. But, and they're tough. I'm telling you, I've yeah. got more respect for an all day than just about anything I hunted. And I can't tell you how many times I've had to do that. Yeah. I mean, it's just an automatic. And that's the most ethical right thing to do, too. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. That's the reason why I wouldn't even. Enough. I wasn't gonna bring my bow, and if we could put her out of her misery, we'd gonna put her out. She'd have died right there. Yeah, we'd, she was we'd have found her this yeah, she, She'd have died right there. Now the meat will be good. Everything will be good. And we can go look at her now. Well, <laughs> we got her all dead. It wasn't exactly how I wanted to draw it up. Uh, I still playing it back in my head. I thought I smoked her. Um, this is all on my shoulders, though. I should have studied the shot placement on these animals a little bit better. I mean, but. Uh, they don't even really open their leg up. You know, everybody talks about front leg, get them forward. They, they keep them tucked they're the so, whole time. Their legs just the way they're built. They're tucked. That's a big one. <laughs> yeah. use, man. Oh, everything's got thorns in Texas. <laughs> well, we found her. She didn't go another, I don't know, 80 yards maybe after we jumped her the first time. But here she is, can't wait to get my hands on her. This is a really, really old ewe. When you're starting to cull these animals out of your herd, this is what you look for. I mean, for a ewe, she's got huge horns. She's really old, mature. There's a good chance, you know, she couldn't even reproduce anymore. And that's the ones you wanna take out. They're the ones that eat the most food <laughs> and the ones that uh, honestly bully the young ones. So these are the ones you want to get out. That's it. I'll get up in here if you can hand me the antler or the horns. I can pull her up in here. Oh shit. <laughs> Good lord. There's a first. Could have ripped my balls off. I thought it was her. Uh, I thought her horns were coming off. I was like, damn, I was. Just glad it wasn't my groin. <laughs>